call this meeting to order. Roll call. Mark McClary. Here. Larry Watson. Here. Billy Plow. Here. I don't know. Please play the lease. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item number four, recognized guests. We want to thank all of our guests for being here today. Uh, item number five is to sign a proclamation for domestic violence awareness month. Yeah. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Cloud? Yes. I was, I'm McKinley Craze and I'm with the Cowboy Domestic Violence Program and I did want to say that on the 12th of October we're going to be having um, a ceremony on the courthouse lawn and so anyone's invited to join us for that and it'll be more um, in depth about how we serve victims here in the community, all the different organizations together, how they come together to serve and so and I just want to say thank you for recognizing this month. And what time will it be? It will be at 11 a.m. on the courthouse now. All right, thank you. Okay, um, thank you. I'm with the newspaper. Would you mind standing behind no, them and I'll take a picture great. also? Well, we'll get the picture to well, CDL license, you got it all dropped down to 2500 You don't have to go four weeks to school. You can do it all online. And uh, if you're really truck savvy and stuff, uh, you can pay your uh, pay for the license to get them that day. And if it don't, three days you get your license from 6000 to 2500 down. And all schools will have to pay the uh, the pay will be the same on all. Come to the same price. Same price on everything. Did he say when this takes effect? It, it, uh, no, not exactly. But I, I talked to Mark Wayne. He said that they that's getting it done. So this is legislation they're probably going to pass yeah. to make a bill. Uh, once I don't done. know because they didn't make a bill to charge it. <laughs> you know, there's nobody ever hanging up about it. There you go. Yeah. Well, that's good news. Yeah, but it's all the same. Man. That'd be on the federal side, wouldn't it? Uh, That'd be federal one. Do I? State. On the license. That's the state license. State issue. Yeah. Can you get a CDL? Okay. Okay. Larry, you got a new business? Yeah, I was in a meeting in Oklahoma City last week, and Haskell County is going to receive uh, from Workman's Comp a rebate of 4500 uh, it'd be a check here coming before too long. Every county got it and they broke it out by your percentage of paying the pool. So, okay. And the 
bank statements. Did y'all get a copy of your bank statements we, we requested? Uh, I didn't need Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a we each got a copy of the turnover audit from the treasurer's office. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there wasn't no significant findings. I know that. Yeah, I mean, you can go on the auditor's <coughs> website and it's all public. You can go look at turnover audits when you scroll down there, and it's it's all you can print out and look at it. So it's all. Shawnee, you got any new business tonight? Yes, um, I was contacted this weekend by a couple of landowners um, in the south part of the county where the classic country land has been filing plats. They've got another plat that's fixing to come out, and um, some of the landowners are concerned that it the boundaries are maybe off. So I just wanted to make sure that um, before that plaque gets approved that we have an opportunity to put it in our mapping system and make sure that, that the stuff that's in our county is where it's supposed to be. Absolutely. But this will be another one that the county's not going to accept <laughs> the roads that they're trying to no, I, no, I would, the, la the I would last two not. the last two we've been against not accepted I would hope not because if, if you've been over there and saw the bridges for yourself I wouldn't think they're worthy of especially county emergency equipment crossing yeah we, we I made that whole ride in through there and we turned all that down <clears throat> and also with the DA mm -hmm. if they get their mail or uh, kids back there some we don't have to honor it they have to go down to the main road to get the mail and same way if they're going to send their kids to school. Because that's uh, that road that that county got that kind of money, that bridge is right, it ain't going to be there long. We'll, and we'll be assessing aerial. I mean, yeah. we're, we're not taking the county truck across the and bridge. Some of that is off. They just, I don't know how they chained that through there and, and got all those uh, <clears throat> the land divided up. I don't know how they've done that. Because that's a lot in there. Mm -hmm. Hundreds and hundreds of lots. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how they can come out and do that that quick and have it right. Yeah. Are they putting homes on these lots? Is that the goal? I think that's the dream they sell people. That's a very rough area. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to get electricity or water or, or water. Yeah. That's just what we was talking about while ago on Ross Wilson deal. <coughs> Another call you when? Friday, this Friday. Friday. And uh, mm -hmm. that, what they've done, they dropped that pin. When they dropped that pin, we can't get it off that computer. Me and Ross and uh, DA's worked on that for the last four years. Once that pin's there, uh, sure. that's, that's worldwide. Mm -hmm. I thought it was this kind of state you could have it taken off. You can't. Mm -hmm. So, I've contacted um, yes. the state mapping, and and they told me that the U.S. Census Bureau is how a lot of those roads get on there, and that there's just like say once it's out there on the web, that's you can't exactly. just take it back. That's so. what that guy called and told you that he was uh, wanted to take that fence down. Fence and all down, that. Yeah. Anytime they open that up, and they drop that pin. It's not the ideal. It's the ideal that you can't get it off of there, and then people coming in from everywhere. They ain't taking your word for it because the phone says it's a road. And, that's, and we fought that, and you know all the signs we've got and everything. I say it's still on bad mind. And if you look at the map, they send it looks like it's all paved roads, and yeah. and it's not. It's no. mountain land. Yeah. Is I the mean, sign up? Did the sign finally get put up? Signs has been up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah this is a different set of signs. The first ones they didn't pay any, and then I had the DA, I said, you. Write down exactly how you want that word, and I'll have them made. And I did. Mm -hmm. We set it up. Give Ross one on the other side, and it slowed them down some. I think the big signs and everything we got up now. 
Yep. But you said they, that you said they still call. They still call. They wouldn't know why fences across the street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and people run a cattle across the city it street. It caused him a lot of misery. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chris, you got any new No. James, anything else? Uh, no, sir. Okay. All right. If there's no other new business, we'll move on to item number seven. Approve commissioner's proceedings from previous meeting. Make a motion to approve. I'll second, I'll second it. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Klaus? Yes. Sonny's Grocery for $700, B62, Wave 11, $600, SSF2, Calm Data, $12,000, SBP2, New Era, $800, SBP2, Universe, $3,000, SBP2, Tankersley, $10,000, SBP2, Sticker Home Center, $3,000, SBP2, O'Reilly, $2,500 SBP2, U.S. Fleet Tracking, $2,995 B2, AT&T, $3,850 B2, Uber Drug, $1,500 SCA. What's that kind of number after? Two. SCA2. Two. SCA2. On that one. Sticker Health and Wellness, $700 SCA2. Tiger Correctional, $2,500 SCA2. Canada Financial, $164 SJF2. Canada Financial, $55 SJF2. Miller Office Equipment, $120.38 SJF2. US Cellular, $1,050 SSF2. Buchanan Tire and Lube, $200 SJF2. Buchanan Tire and Lube, $800 SSF2. <clears throat> Oklahoma Department of Public Safety, $400 SSF2. Precision Vapor, $3,000 SCA2. That's it. Make a motion to approve. I'll second it. Clark McLean? Yes. Clary Watson? Yes. Billy Clown? Yes. <clears throat> You're next. All right, number nine. Discuss and consider closing road in Hathaway County District 3. Mr. Matthews? Yes, sir. At 2385. Goes down past uh, Patricia Mack's house, and she's wanting that closed on kind of this deal that Ross and them. They've been people coming even down there, you know. But we want to close that road. Yeah, that's take the cat, take it off the county map. Can we do that? Well, yeah, yeah, it can be done, but there's a process, a pretty good process that has to be gone through. <clears throat> that's all the step that has to be done. That's a state statute to close the road. That's your copy. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll try to, if I can remember it all, I'll try to tell, tell you the, how it goes. Uh, first thing is this board's supposed to be presented with a petition to close the road. And then uh, we review that. And if we decide that it has merit, then we will vote to move forward with closing the road, set a hearing for 90 days down the road and all landowners adjacent or anybody you know involved directly has to be sent a letter notifying them of this hearing and so they can have a chance to uh, to appear and well, that's what's bad about part of it that my cousin owns that behind me. They're all gone. 
but a granddaughter, I think. But what's his know. final hearing is is had, you know, when everybody comes, if anybody comes or whatever and speaks for or against, then the final decision is made at that time to whether or not to close it. But it's not just a simple decision of the commissioner saying, yeah, we're going to close this road and it's closed because it won't hold up in court. Okay. It's been tested. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm on the west side of it, Bill on the east side of it. He, and I done talked to him about it, so yeah. everybody, you know, ready to speak. Is it a dead end road? It's a dead end. It goes, it goes down there to that category. That's where it stopped, that category. That road hasn't been used in a long time. No. I don't know. It's, it's, it's been down, but the thing about it is that if they don't go through that process, and then say somebody gets on the uh, old wheeler place, yeah. okay, then they can come back and open that up because it had not been legally closed. Okay. And that's what happens. That's what it's about. That, you know. We had one challenged here yeah. a few years ago when it went, a guy took it to court and the judge rule that no it's not closed because these procedures weren't followed to close it. So any of them roads that's opened up like that uh, uh, put down on that thing on it. It has to be closed or if it's twenty five years from now if they come back in they can take that to court and open it up. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what they're saying, you know. And I don't even want that to happen. But, Power lines or pipelines or anything that's set aside out of the right of way. They, they no power or nothing down that road. No, it goes across the field. Well, it's not even going down. Because if you read on that bottom part of that, on part of that process, there's something about the utilities having to be relocated. Mm -hmm. But just read that. You might understand it better than I do. I just breezed over it when I, when I got it. Okay. That road the last time was used probably when Thomas Reese lived in. Right. Yeah. So that's been. Uh, 30. 25, 30 years. Yeah, what was. Yes. The last road closing that we had here was the, the Davises that on Crossroads was involved in. And they enlisted the help of an attorney to, to go through all the steps and make sure everything was done right. Yeah. So. Because if you don't, like I said, someday you don't know, 20 years from now they come back in and open it back up. Mm -hmm. I'll see why I can get done about this. Okay. okay. All right. And, uh, if uh, as long as the commissioner involved is on board and it sounds like he is, I mean it's doable. It's just a process. That's that. Okay. That's all that's been nothing done. <clears throat> if you don't go through the right process, come back to us. Okay. Like not you, but right. you and the rest. Of it. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. You know, if you think it's closed and you build something there, and right. you know, or put something there, I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's a lease road too, you know. Yeah, that. it's but, but that, uh, so nobody can get on that lease road except the gas company. But right. still, yet, if it comes up to it <laughs> on the other side of it, they can still open it up. So okay. has he got the first step out of the way by petitioning us about closing it? Is it has he got the first step out of the way? I actually think no. He, they would probably need to be something in you know uh, some sort of a, something in writing that okay. you brought to us. Okay. This. Probably have to go to the DA. I go. Uh, well, no, no, probably your own attorney or just uh, just uh, have your right own attorney up draft it. something up saying that you want to close the road. And if there's anybody else involved there that's on board with it, you know, we we'll get I'd get their signature on yeah. it too. Yeah. Oh yeah. To start with. Like I said, all the older ones are already, they're dead, yeah. you know, and there's one great, I think the great granddaughter mm -hmm. lives up way off somewhere, but Minnesota or somewhere. Yeah. But if I remember right, I mean, they presented us with a, you know, a little plaid of it on a sheet of paper and, you know, kind of drawing out the description and then a written description as to why they wanted the road closed or it needed to be closed. And then they had a few signatures from other people close by. And then we went from there on it, you know, and then went to the hearing and all that stuff. Okay. <clears throat> well, I went up there and got it. 
copy of that road on this map, but I'll, uh, I'll get something drawn up. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Item number 10, review and sign of approved appropriation transfer appropriation check C bill be paid. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. Clark McClary? Yes. Larry Watson? Yes. Billy Cloud? Yes. Yes.
long as the dude come watch this kid put that thing, you put that park rack on and mark the ends of the load up. That can't be the trouble. So we're trying to get them, trying to get the park rack for them. So it was off the heat the engine or how long? I rocked. It, but it will load the engine up. <coughs>
this the second month that we've not paid that. been a good while. Yeah. Yes. Billy Watson? Yes. Billy Clown? Yes. All right. 